Hey friends, welcome back to the vlog. It's Christmas day, so today is gonna to be a productive day of well-mannered frivolity. I set my alarm for 7.30 a.m., but as usual, I decide to have a lion. So at 10 a.m., I finally managed to negotiate myself out of bed and into the bathroom. I take my sweet time in showering, changing, and doing my morning skincare routine. I'm using the CeraVe moisturizer first, followed by the La Roche eye cream to help get rid of the discoloration under my eyes from being a productivity grease monkey. Because I'm a minimalist and I like every item to serve multiple functions, I'm using my 1 million subscribers YouTube plaque as my mirror. By the way, what do you guys think Think of my no glasses look. I'm debating whether to get contact lenses or even laser eye surgery, so let me know in the comments what you think. I finish off the routine with a few sprays of Allure Home by Channel, and so I'm now ready to crush the day or whatever it is the Americans say. At 11.15, I head into the kitchen to make my morning cup of coffee while munching on a cheeky banana. While the three minute timer is going to brew the coffee in the clever dripper, I make a charming cup of English breakfast tea for my housemate because I'm such a great friend. We warm up some leftover pizza and a mince pie to make the perfect Christmas breakfast. Then I head over to the living room where I sit in my corner chair, eat my healthy and nutritious breakfast, and bash out the MacBook Pro to do some writing. I start with my morning journaling practice where I ask myself what I'm grateful for, what I'm looking forward to, and why I don't yet have a wife. This helps me prepare for my next phone call with mother. At noon, I decide to stop being a waste man and get up to clean the living room. While doing so, I discover that Christmas has been stolen and our fancy Christmas tree, which was once so beautifully decorated, has ended up back in its netting somehow. I also realize that I'm on Santa's naughty list because no one got me any presents, that's okay because I ordered a few things for myself which have now arrived. So I spend some time unboxing the new Remarkable 2 tablet and testing it out a bit, and some fancy desk accessories from Ugmunk. This is the Gather, a fancy ass way of collecting pens and post-it notes and stuff. And on top of that, we've got two coasters that say enjoy the journey, which is one of the quotes I live by, and a set of three small, somewhat minimalistic notebooks. By the time I've done all this, it's 1.15 p.m. and it's time to head over to our friends Jake and Molly's place for Christmas lunch. Taking Sheen's fancy ass cake that she made and the Christmas tree over is a bit of a navigational challenge, but it all works out in the end. We all actually intended to go back home to our families for Christmas, but thanks to the new tier four lockdown rules in the UK, we've ended up having to stay in Cambridge and up until tomorrow, we're legally allowed to mix with one other household, hence this last minute gathering. Anyway, when we get there, we set up the tree and then spend an inordinate amount of time doing a Christmas photo shoot. This is the sort of thing I used to do with my friends at university, which is perhaps why I had so few of them. But since then, we've not really had many chances of actually sitting down and taking lots of photos. While I'm busy practicing my paparazzi skills, Molly is making the final touches to our afternoon meal. Obviously, I help a lot by filming over everyone's shoulders and being an absolute pest, but it's these sorts of sacrifices you have to make when you're an award-winning internet content creator. Food is served at 3 p.m. and after copious photographing and Instagram storying, we tuck into a hearty and delicious meal. Three, two, one. I've been pretty much living off takeaways these past few months, so it's nice to have some actual homemade food for a change. At 4 p.m., as we're all stuffed to the brim, Jake and I decide to head around the local nature reserve for a walk in the freezing cold while the sun sets. While we're away, Sheen and Molly make a start on decorating the Christmas tree only a few weeks late, which we finish off around 5 p.m. when we get back to the house. At 5.30, we decide we've got enough spare capacity now to have dessert, which is Sheen's masterpiece of a red velvet cake with cream cheese frosting and decorated with a Christmas wreath of cranberry and rosemary. And yes, I know it's really weird having rosemary in a cake, but Sheen tells me that it's totally normal and adds to the taste. At 6.45, we decide that we've gotten bored of speaking to each other, and we move towards the thing that I've been looking forward to all month, which is board games. We make a start on a new single-use board game, which is kind of like an escape room within board game format. We have to work together to solve various riddles to escape from the abandoned cabin in the woods before we get killed by the host. Along the way, we discover new puzzles and have to do weird things like writing on the cards, folding them, and cutting them up to find clues. We finally finish it around 90 minutes later, working in harmony to get through the fiendish challenges. By 8.30 p.m., we're all now really sick of social interaction, and so we sit on our phones for a bit to catch up with the old social media and for Sheen and Molly to field various questions on their Instagram stories about their respective relationship statuses. Then at 9 p.m., after a burst of revitalization, we switch to playing a variant of beer pong that I call water pong. Jake, 
an expert in games involving the consumption of liquid, explains the various involved rules, and Sheen and I team up to try and take down him and Molly. This actually turns out to be a surprisingly fun game. Seems like most people apparently play it at school or university, but by an amazing coincidence, whenever people were hosting parties where the game was being played, for some reason I was always busy, or you know, my invite got lost in the post, or you know, I'm sure they intended to invite me to these parties, but they just forgot every time. Anyway, Sheen does her best to carry the team, but we still end up losing, and therefore I end up hydrating myself with around two gallons of water. Mashallah. Yay, I got it! Nice one. From 9.30, we spend half an hour playing a casual practice version of Articulate, our favorite board game from university, and then at 10 p.m., after singing a quick, dubious rendition of Silent Night, we bid goodbye to our fantastic hosts and head home for the evening. By 10.20, we've arrived back home. I think about winding down, but I've got a ton of energy left, so Sheen kindly makes us some peppermint tea, and we order some kebab takeaway to really round off this day of healthy eating. Then I get to editing this vlog, which is a nice, productive way to wind down for the evening. It's been a fun and wholesome day of well-mannered frivolity. We got to hang out with some friends before Cambridge goes into full tier four lockdown from tomorrow, which means we won't be able to see anyone at all, probably for at least a few weeks. Oh well, that just means more time sitting in front of the computer, making these silly internet videos for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I'll see you in the next video.